the windows tinted and the bass tube hitting it. Digging. Creeping past the popo incognito like Joe Dirt. That's how he's living. Life's a garden, man. And he's just digging. Welcome back, everybody. Kenny here, Digging Chicago. It is just about 5 a.m., 0500. And, yeah, I haven't slept yet. Why haven't I slept yet? Because I have been fantasizing about what's underneath these squares that were just dug up yesterday afternoon. Guys, you know you saw my recent tear outs. They're continuing on. City of Chicago blessing me with history, I'm sure. Wheat scents, silver, gold, who knows. But guys, I'm very excited. You want to know why? Because I have not dug a hole. It's got to be 10 days. Alright, All right, not the start I was hoping for, but let's see what we can find. Alright, here we go. Hey everybody, I am, this is like a third or fourth hole. And we finally got a coin. Alright, it is definitely Lincoln on the front. And Memorial on the back. Let's see what else we find. It's been slow going at best, but here's another coin. Let's see what we have. Oh, it, it looks promising, guys. All right, let me, let me clean it and check it. I believe it's only 2003, but we will continue on here. Here we go. And a couple pieces of trash later, we have another coin. Let's see what we have. It looks a lot nicer than the last. All right, let me clean it. Uh, should I bother? It's only a memorial. Uh, no, well, it's 1974. 1974 Memorial. All right, I've been diving through a lot of trash, but look at this beautiful brass piece. That is a beautiful keyhole, isn't it? Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I have a lot of targets popping up right around this thing, so let me see what else I can find. Uh, just a beauty, though, beauty. That's, that's what we're looking for. And it looks like another coin. Let's see what we got. Uh, it's just memorial. Ah, oh, jeez, doesn't even matter. Let me let me find it. 1978, and another coin. Just a freaking memorial. 1970. Ah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, Kenny here, digging Chicago. I just tried to do a tear out unsuccessfully, so I decided to move to a new park, and this is the first find. Ready? Check it out. A button. All right, everybody, I changed spots again, and I am in a spot that I've done many, many times, but look what just came out of the hole. Ready? Look at that, guys. It rang up as gold. It's definitely a ring. Let me check it out. Hold on. All right, guys. I have silver this year. I've got platinum this year. And I do believe that is 14 carats of gold. With some kind of diamond inlay. It does say 14K right on the inside. You see it there? Yeah. Anyway, it does say 14 carats. It is a big men's ring. It is a definitely soft alloy, but it's heavy. <laughs> well, guys, there's gold. There's gold. <laughs> there's gold, Daddy. Mwah! There's gold. I got silver, I got platinum, and now I got gold. There it is. All right, it's been a s some time since I found that gold, but just had this little owl thing pop out. Neat, huh? Moving slow and picking li uh, the little things that I've missed. Some kind of trinket. Pretty neat. All right, guys, I got the first thing other than a penny. And it's just a Clyde quarter. 1988. And we have ourselves a little coins bill. Modern quarter. Second one is... There it is, another modern quarter. Modern. All right, guys, I have switched locations. I'm actually at another tear out. This just came out and... I don't know. It kind of looks like a necklace. Huh, I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it and uh, crust it all up. I'm going to take it home and clean it. See what it is. 
All right, guys, I got kind of a look at this, but this is a first for me, guys. It's a buffalo head. Or it's a buffalo nickel. Look at that. Look at that. It's a buffalo nickel. That's a buffalo nickel. Let me let me clean it and check it. Hold on. All right, guys, I am not going to get too crazy with this. I'm going to take it home and clean it off, but you can tell that is clearly a buffalo. First one ever. First find of a buffalo. First goal today. First buffalo today, Daddy. Here we go. All right, and just got myself what looks like a wheat scent at very least. 1931 Wheaty. Beautiful patina. Look at that, 1931. Beautiful. All right, guys, this is a weird-looking coin. I think it's a dime. What do we got? I think it's one under. I think it's 19... Hold on, hold on. All right, guys. Just by the hairs of my chinny-chin-chin, chin, 1964 Roosevelt dime. Nice. Nice, nice. Very nice. I'll be honest. It's been pulled. I looked at it in a second. And it looks like silver. Let's double check. Let's see it. It's a mercury. Yes, it is. 1930-something. 1930 something six or something yeah buddy second silver of the night look at that gorgeous lady Ooh -wee. all right all right guys about five seconds after that merc that's a washington and it sure looks shiny because it's another silver 1940 Ooh, hoo, 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 1945. That's his third silver in a row. Holy shit, guys. I just pulled three silvers in a row. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, buddy. Three in a row. Three in a row. <laughs> Three in a row, guys. Three in a row. Welcome back. I'm home. It's I'm cl I've cleaned my face and I've stopped sweating. I've cleaned up the fines. Let me show you what I got, guys. This has been amazing. That last uh, little night dig was just tonight. The rest of it was this morning. After it, it, yesterday into this morning. Let me show you what I got. Ready? Start with the trash. Uh, it was there was a fair amount of it only because I, I was really willing to pull anything I did a lot of different tear outs and they, they've been working on stuff and it's just a bunch of you know junk you know uh, there's the clad lots of uh, memorials some dimes a few quarters actually a dollar worth of quarters not bad I did f manage a key which is fun always fun to find a key all right guys this thing what I, mean, I, I want to make it a necklace almost it's got a patent date it's actually patented may 27th 18 blank nine and it's stamped in there and it's just beautiful isn't it wonderful wonderful find that button actually is not a button it's got some threads on the back and i'm not really not sure what it was but you know uh this was actually found in what used to be the parking lot of one of the uh, factories that was right near my house during the Second World War, or up to the Second World War, I should say. Um, but yeah, don't know what really that was. All right, that little owl or like moth thing. Now, anybody who's been following my videos long enough may actually recognize them wings. This is like the fifth piece of this thing that I have found. I found uh, two bottom wings, a top wing. Uh, I like a, a back tail feather thing, and now this. Amazing, and it was scattered all about my my regular park, and I have found it over the course of the last almost two years now. Almost two full seasons, I'll say. Amazing. Got two wheat cents, a 1955 right here, and then this one's a 1930. 30-something. Uh, 30 37. But what a, what a fantastic green, right? It's like a weird camouflage on there. So that, that was cool when I saw it. This thing, guys, after cleaning it up and soaking it, because it, is, it mimics uh, a, a penny perfectly in diameter, 
I'm pretty sure that would have been hung on a wall back in the day, and you know, you put a couple tacks right through those tiny holes, and that would have held keys. There's like a floral pattern on there. How neat is that? That's that's got to be turn of the century, right? I guess. The neat thing, look at the back. Like somebody put that together by hand and, and just spot welded it or something. I don't know, but it's definitely, it definitely seems to be copper. As per the green. Pretty neat. I did get a bicentennial. I'm always happy when I get a bicentennial. It's just a, a neat find and, and, you know, it's just a one-off. There's that 1964 Roosevelt dime. You know, when it first when it first popped out, it was like white, and then a little bit of little bit of rubbing turned it kind of it's kind of gray, but you see the shimmer of silver back there. But you can definitely see that date, 1964, 1936 Mercury dime. That's the second Mercury I've uh, found this year, and only the third I've ever found. So really, really fantastic when that popped out. Very exciting, and another silver quarter. I have been very fortunate these last few weeks, and I have been just dragging them out of the ground. Oh, man, that looks so good, didn't it, guys, when, when it was sitting? Oh, man, and it just polished up pretty. You know, it's got a little bit of this stuff on there. I kind of only rinsed it and washed it. Uh, I did the uh, baking soda, little baking soda and soap. Um, and that's what it looks like. I mean, yeah, it's, that's pretty to me. I'm happy with that. And then last but certainly not least, guys, my first gold ring, my first gold find. You see it in there, that 14K? I don't know if the diamonds are real or not, but uh, it's gorgeous. And, and if you see the actual, they somebody worked that thing. You see that? Uh, my, my wife said she thinks it might be antique. I said it wasn't any more than two inches or three inches in the ground, but... Hey, I, I trust the lady over over any opinion I have on jewelry, I'll be honest. So that is the find that I've been looking for. All those pull tabs ago, that's what it was looking for. Beautiful. Very, very, very happy. Very, look, just look at that shine. Oh, my God. So happy with that. <laughs> so that's it, guys. Thank you so much for coming along. I've had a great, great weekend. It's, and, and it's not over. Tomorrow's still Sunday. The Air and Water Show is happening this weekend. That's 500,000 people standing on my beach. So I'm hoping to get down there before uh, Monday morning. Um, but until then, guys, you know what to do. Get out there and find something. And I will talk to you later. Peace.